I think we are uh, live. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ajeta Shah. I'm the founder CEO of Frontier Markets. Um, I wanted to thank Sun Club for uh, this opportunity, uh, but also tell you for a fact that this is our very first time doing this, my first time. So of course, you can imagine these lovely ladies' first time ever doing um, anything remotely close to a Facebook Live session. Uh, but when we were given the opportunity to talk about why clean energy, why women, what is the connect about impact and what is the connect about uh, you know, societal change, I could not uh, not have the opportunity to talk about the incredible work that Frontier Markets has been up to when it comes to silver singles and really bringing women at the center of the value chain. But also, these two wonderful ladies, our very own silver singles from Unver, uh, have come all the way, uh, three hour drive, to Jipper to sit with me and also share their stories. So uh, bear with us, uh, and we're really looking forward to questions after this session. Uh, so I'll start with a brief about uh, Frontier Markets, some of my own learnings, um, and then I am really looking forward to asking some key questions that I think people are really interested to hear and learn more from our women themselves. So India's context, uh, you know, we always say that 450 million people uh, do not have access to regular reliable electricity, which means that they live in fear and instability because of that irregularity. And while we believe that clean energy products can address this and create opportunities to drive uh, welfare for households, we need to get these products to reach the last mile or rural households faster. And that is why Frontier Markets created a proven business model which really focused on women at the center of the value chain. Our 2,500 women entrepreneurs, solar sahilis, are trained in marketing, technology, product innovation, and they get access to innovative clean energy products to sell rural households and earn income. To date, these 2,500 women have earned over $2.5 million of revenue by selling solar home systems, clean cook stoves, agri appliances to over half a million households in Rajasthan. We continue to innovate because we believe in them. We trust them and they give us insights to new innovations, whether it's introducing a solar cook stove, whether it's introducing an agri appliance, a solar TV. We partner with local Indian manufacturers to create these into realities because when you get the voice from the field and you apply it to create impact, everything changes. We really have been able to do this through our experiences with women. You know, a lot of people ask me, why did we create a solar city program? Um, once you meet them, I think no one will ask this question again, but I'll tell you our perspective. Look, women are at the center of this burden. And when you're giving women an opportunity to really be the driving force of change, there is a massive impact that happens. But also when you give women the opportunity to earn income, everything changes. You know, these women have been driving the innovation in the field. They've also been working on helping us figure out new financial innovations to help their rural households make these products more affordable. Because of them, Frontier Markets has been breaking even year on year. And now we're expanding our program to over five new states to go from half a million households to five million households and create more rock star entrepreneurs like these lovely women, uh, 20,000 of them in the next three years. What we really want you to understand is that the last mile, rural access is about products, yes, but it's more about innovation, which is more customer centric and design, and it's really about people. Women are the control, and if you give them opportunity, they not only can prove that they can create impact, but they're credit worthy, and they're really about making the last mile be about her. So join me in really understanding why investing in these women is smart business, why it's the key to poverty alleviation, and why energy is linked to all of this, um, and really to understand that story more effectively. Um, I wanted to introduce you to these lovely women. So Sunita Ji, Barabaka, Parichay Kadijay. My name is Sunita. This is Sunita. She's from a village called Pipalai from Alvar. She's been a solar singly with us for the last two years, and she comes from a non profit organization called Iptida. This is Meena. Uh, she's also from the district of Alvar, but she's from Sidi Bhabi, which is the name of her village. She's also been a solar city with us for the last two years. I will keep translating to the best of my ability to represent these lovely ladies' voices. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the 
हैं सो वी स्टार्ट हैविंग अ चैट अम तो मीना जी आप मुझे बताइए कि पहले तो बिजली क्यों आप सोलर से ही बनी तो आप क्यों बनी और बिजली के साथ आप क्यों जुड़ना चाहते थे मैम सबसे बड़ी बात तो थी कि हमारे गांव में ना बिजली की सबसे बड़ी परेशानी थी क्योंकि लाइट नहीं आती थी कई-कई दिन तक तो सबसे ज्यादा तो परेशानी है कि गांव में लाइट नहीं है तो अंधेरे में बाहर की तरफ कहां जाए फिर ये तो पे कहां जाए अपने पास अपने हाथ में हथियार हो तो हम कहीं पे भी जा सकते हैं तो एक तो मेन मकसद ये था और फिर बच्चे पढ़ाई करते थे तो रात में लाइट अब पेपर चल रहे हैं तो पेपर में लाइट नहीं आ रही तो बच्चे पढ़ाई कैसे करेंगे सबसे बड़ा सुख ये था तो लाइट से तो हमें ना कई सुख मिले थे तो ये सुख देख के फिर मैंने कहा चलो हम भी थोड़ा उठें और गांव में अंधेरे में इनको भी उठाएं पर तो इस तो um i'm just going to translate what she just said uh so uh what mina is telling us is that ultimately we have to recognize that when we're talking about electricity challenges in villages we are talking about uh not having what she called a talwar or a weapon to defend ourselves against that darkness and she's mentioning that darkness playing a role not just in the households but also when they're going outside into the fields when they're going into the forest that dealing with the darkness is a massive burden the second fact is that when you're dealing with that burden you're also worrying about your children ultimately children when they don't have the opportunity to read is a massive problem So really for her she saw this as an opportunity to embrace uh clean energy to address that challenge. Aap sab mai puchti hu. Theek hai to ye sab to aapke saath bhi hai hai na aapke gaon mein bhi bichli ki samasya hai lekin ab main aapse thoda alag sawal puchungi. Mahila kyun? Aaj hai na bichli ki samasya gaon mein hoti hai theek hai to aadmi bhi to is kaam mein kaam kar sakte hain. Mahila hi kyun is kaam ke saath jude? महिला महिलाओं को समझती है महिलाओं को जरूरत जैसे महिलाओं को रोशनी की ज्यादा जरूरत पड़ती है तो महिला है महिलाओं से बेझिझक समूह में हमारे वहाँ हमारे एरिया में समूह महिलाएं जुड़ी हुई हैं तो महिलाओं के साथ में काम करने में हमें ज्यादा लाभ जैसे महिलाओं के आर्थिक स्थिति सुधार में भाई खेतों में काम महिला करती है घर में काम महिला करती है तो महिलाओं को पुरुष ला दे या नहीं दे अंधेरे में काम करने में मजबूरी हो जाती है उनकी तो मजबूरी से हमने उनको So one thing that Sunita is saying that's really important, and we need to understand this. You know, uh, the structure of rural villages in India, especially in Rajasthan, where these women are from, you know, women really are the center of every piece of the challenge, but also the work. Women are the ones in the field. Women are the ones at home. Women are the ones that are cooking. Women are the ones that are dealing with the stress. So when we are talking about handling or addressing the stress, we really are talking about having women more involved. because sunita is a part of asamu and so is meena they also understand that they can connect to each other and understand each, each, their challenges more effectively so when women are coming and bringing solutions for other women you are actually seeing an opportunity to really be able to create an impact ab main aap se ye puchti hu um ki aaj aap solar sahari bani to isse pehle aap kya karti thi aur ab kya badlav aaya aapke liye main pehle कुछ नहीं करती थी बस घर पे रहती थी चार दीवार इधर उधर अपने और बस जैसे फिर समूह जुड़ा हमारे समूह में जुड़ी समूह में हमें बहुत फायदा हुआ समूह में जुड़ने के बाद में फिर सोलह सौ की बनी समूह में से तो हमें बहुत फायदा हुआ क्यों मैं घर की दुकान में बना ली घर की दुकान से बना ली पर दीवार रहते थे उनको भी दे दी थे टुकड़ों में किस्तों में पैसे निकाल देते हैं और फिर अब सोलह सौ की बढ़ने से भी मेरे को पैसे मिल रहे काम भी कर रही हूँ और मेरा नाम भी हो रहा है So what I asked Mina is a very straightforward question, right? I mean, what is truly the impact in their perspective uh, about becoming a solar sailor, getting involved in clean energy for her? And you know, she said that prior to this, she really was more uh, staying at home. She was stuck around these four corners. Um, and you know, she first joined a self-help group program, and she got opportunity to be a part of a network. But once she started becoming a sailor, she started earning money. and when she started earning money she got a chance to leave her house and when she started leaving her house people started getting to know her so ye baat jo pehchan ki baat hai hai na aap mujhe ek cheez batao ki aapke hisab se isme kya hai matlab aaj hai na bahut sare log hame ye bolte hai ki mahila hi kyun aadmi hi kaam kar sakte hain mahila mein kaun si badi baat hai aur isme kya baaki mein kya badlav aa raha hai aap khud ke bare mein batao mujhe ki aapke hisab se kya badlav aa raha hai दुकान पर तो पुरुष भी बेच सकते हैं घर घर में गांव गांव में जाकर महिला क्यों नहीं बेच सकती और महिला को महिला देख सकती है दुकान से तो पुरुष लेके आएगा गांव की गांव में जो महिला बेच सकती है जो बाजार में जाना नहीं होगा बाजार से दूर 
दूर पड़ता है बाजार में महिलाओं के लिए तो गांव के गांव में जो मिल रहा है वह बहन वह अपने गांव में दे रही है तो वहीं से ले रहे हैं आसानी है आपके लिए इसमें क्या फायदा हुआ आप सोचे से ही बन के लिए मतलब आप क्यों आज मैंने आपसे पहले सबसे बड़ी तो सबसे बड़ी तो मेरे गांव में विकास अंधेरा का जो प्रभाव था तो वो रोशनी की तरफ है मेरे घर में पहले अंधेरा भी कुछ आया हुआ था बल्ब जो टूट जाते थे बल्ब रोज रोज कहाँ तक लेके आए तो कभी कभी तो अंधेरे में रहना पड़ जाता था अब बल्ब की ज्यादा जरूरत नहीं पड़ती क्योंकि अपने पास हो गया लाइट है भाई कल कल ले आएंगे परसों ले आएंगे जरूरत बिन बिजली के लाइट है ये बस धूप में रखी चार्ज हो गई हर दो चार पांच घरों में तो दो तीन तीन सोलर के प्रोजेक्ट खरीद रखे हैं मेरे मेरे पास से तो पहले तो सबसे पहले तो ये है मेरा भाई गांव का विकास रोशनी की तरफ झुका हुआ और सबसे बड़ी पहचान हुई एक भाई ये बैटरी भी बेच रही है ये बैटरियों की भी दुकान करती है तो ये सबसे बड़ी पहचान है और बैटरी वाली सुनकर भी लोग भाई बैटरी भी बेचती है क्या तो वो सुधारती भी होगी मैंने कहा भाई सुधारने की अभी ट्रेनिंग नहीं मिली सुधारने की मिलेगी So uh, Sunita is saying a really important piece. So what she was saying was that look ultimately you have to understand that uh, when women are getting involved in Sorry folks, we're back again. We had a little bit of a technical glitch because uh, we had a poor connection of the internet. Um, but I really, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get the opportunity to uh, make sure that we were able to translate what Sunita said. Um, Sunita was talking about the importance of electrifying the village and the uh, aspiration of the change that happens in the village. Um, and then the fact is that people started recognizing her for being that change maker, that influencer, that village. I think stature in society. Um, ultimately, what happens is uh, we have to remember that when we want to talk about equality, um, the influence of uh, what these women are working on, when it's influencing the entire village, they're getting known for that. So both of these women have keep uh, have been using the same phrase, which is pecha, uh, which is identity. Um, a lot of our women that have been a part of this Solo Sailor program, you know, always had an identity that was linked to either their father or linked to their husband or linked to their children. And this is really the first time that they're actually getting their own identity linked to the work that they do. So, you know, Sunita just mentioned the fact that she talks about how people now talk to her as if she's the battery person. She's the entrepreneur that everybody knows uh, will be selling solar uh, lights. And they've been asking her, like, now that you're selling the solar lights, are you also going to be preparing them? So she's like, I'm getting that training and I will. All right, we started live again, but I feel like a lot of people were probably on that previous uh, video that we were connecting on. Uh, this was actually supposed to be the Q&A session uh, of uh, the program, and we were really hoping to keep aside at least 25 minutes to get some questions uh, from the audience. So I'm not entirely sure how Facebook Live works, so I have no idea if there are going to be uh, people that can join us and some questions, but if you do have questions and you are able to rejoin, uh, I think we're asking the team to kind of help you get to this place. Uh, please just ask us because we do have a good 20, 25 minutes to be able to take that forward. So, जब तक अपन इनका वेट कर रहे हैं या तो मैं फिर आप लोग से एक और सवाल पूछती हूँ, है ना? आप मुझे बताइए कि जेंस के मन में पहले है ना महिला के बारे में आप लोग के बारे में आप खुद की कहानी बताना मुझे है ना अपन ज्यादा पूरे गांव के बारे में नहीं आप दोनों हो यहाँ पर तो आपकी आवाज आपकी कहानी बहुत जरूरी है तब मुझे बताओ कि आपके हिसाब से पहले आपके जो आदमी घर में वो क्या सोचते थे और अब क्या सोचते हैं पहले गाँव में रहते थे तो कोई जैसे घर से बाहर नहीं निकलने देते नहीं कहते तुम बाहर जाओ क्योंकि सामान लेने भी नहीं जाने देते थे हमें दुकान पे भी कि नहीं तुम यहाँ करो घर पर किसी से मैं ला दूंगा या मंगवा दूंगा तो आदमी लाते तो लाते नहीं भी लाते थे और आज आप तो हमें ना खुद अपने सामान खुद जाकर ले आते हैं कोई आते तो उनसे बातचीत भी करते हैं पहले कोई आदमी आ जाते थे ना तो अब जैसे कोई बेचारा खड़े रहते थे तो पहले कहते थे अरे इससे बोल कैसे बोल रही है तू क्यों बोल रही है इससे तो वो बेचारे खड़े खड़े इंतजार ही करके चले जाते हैं तो अब ये है की अब बहुत सुधार आ गया गाँव में भी कि पल्ला तो करते हैं परंतु उनसे हम बोल लेते हैं कि भाई हाँ ये बात है अब वो है नहीं अभी ये काम नहीं है आप बाद में आ जाना तो वो है ना सम आ जाते हैं और पहले नहीं बोलते थे ना बेचारे खड़े रहते हैं अरे भाई कोई है कि नहीं ये काम कर रहे हैं 
कोई बताओ तो सही कौन बताए सब जो सब चीजों पर उजसन रहते थे गांव की महिलाओं पे सब तरीके से तो अब हमारे ये कि हम बाहर भीतर भी आने जाने लग गए हम अपना काम खुद करने भी लग गए अपनी जिम्मेदारी भी करने लग गए तो हम कर रहे हैं तो सब 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 इट्स एंड बिग एंड ऑल राइट सो आई थिंक दैट वी शुड जस्ट स्टॉप आई डोंट नो व्हाई बिकॉज़ देयर इज प्रॉपर इंटरनेट बट इट कीप्स एंडिंग सो अम It's working because right now it automatically ends, so the videos are ending. Okay. Okay, we can all get there. Okay, but we couldn't see any question. There's one question. Uh, I think we're back live now. Um, I I apologize for the glitches. Our video keeps ending. We're not entirely sure what to do, but I guess I warned everyone that this was going to happen. Um I think there was one question that was posted uh before the video had ended. Um it was a question about um income generation for women. Um so how much income are they relatively earning? Um I can tell you a general uh perspective from uh just a range of all of our salaries. So um we normally take on salaries uh when they are either they have no income generating opportunities or they've been a part of uh, other government kind of programs where they've been probably earning average of maybe 100 to 200 a year um on certain activities so what we've seen is an exponential growth uh, of income so uh our women in a year have been able to earn anywhere between 35,000 rupees to about 65,000 rupees in a year so that is around um you know 700 to about 1000 rupees uh, uh sorry 700 to about 1000 dollars in a year so we've seen an exponential growth of income uh in general but we can also get a flavor by asking um our women over here aapke hisab se abhi lagbhag um jo pehle samuh se judne ke pehle uh ye sarsari program se judne se pehle aapki kya kamai hoti thi aur ab kya kamai पहले तो समूह में पैसा ले लेकर देना ही रहता था अब तो जो बेचते हैं जो इनकम होती है जो अपने पास ही रहती है तो इससे पहले आपकी मतलब कमाई नहीं थी वैसे तो भाई नौकरिया प्राइवेट काफी है करने के लिए तो फिर संस्थाओं में काम करती हूँ मैं और ग्राम साथी भी हूँ लाल विकास परियोजना में पर वो तो भाई महीने की तनख्वाह थी है इससे हर रोज का वर्क में एक प्रोजेक्ट पे बिक गया तो 100 200 रुपए तो कमाई है सो आई थिंक वन पॉइंट दैट आल्सो सेइंग दिस एडिंग व्हिच आई थिंक इज एन इंपोर्टेंट पीस इज दैट द थिंग अबाउट एक्चुअली बीइंग एबल टू बी एंटरप्रेन्योरियल अराउंड दिस इज दैट वी आर आल्सो एबल टू ड्राइव इनकम जनरेशन ऑन अ मोर कंट्रोल्ड बेसिस देयर्स रेगुलर इनकम दैट कम्स इन एंड देयर्स आल्सो डेली इनकम दैट कम्स इन आई थिंक दैट्स बीन अ रियली बिग पार्ट ऑफ दैट कंट्रोल अम सो आई जस्ट फाउंड अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम श्रीना uh who said can you share some examples of successful women entrepreneurs who work with you in rural areas what have they been able to achieve and how uh trina are um, other women entrepreneurs like the solar sahelis um so we can tell you that we uh in rajasthan we operate in uh three districts currently where we have our 2500 sahelis um and uh a lot of the ways that they work is uh we end up giving them access to certain types of products and we train them and be able to communicate with their rural households. So we do a lot of uh data collection, we do market activities, we do training with them, but then we also do a lot of hand holding and mapping around understanding what is the right solution that's required for that household. When she does her marketing activities and does demos, then she's able to generate leads. As she generates leads, those leads actually come to our call center and then we help them with leads and then she actually sells the product. Some really awesome examples have been that uh some of our sahelis have also been a part of a program called the Krishi Sakhi program where she's been helping farmers learn about uh farmer agricultural activities. What we helped her understand was that her farmers were all linked to the need of a torch. So while she was going to start explaining to people about different arts of farming, she actually started taking her torch with her at night and showing people the effectiveness of torch of torches and then sort of selling them really actively. Um Sunita here which is telling us earlier that she's converted her house into a shop. 
Uh, that's how she first started. So first she was selling products and then she actually converted that into a, she started stocking products at her home. And now she's taken on a loan to even set up a shop, which has been a massive trend of what we've seen is that a lot of women have started to go through phases. Some women are very excited to become entrepreneurial. So they want to go from being, you know, products in their hands to actually stocking in their homes and eventually setting up their shops. Other women have been more excited about an employment opportunity. And these women are saying, train us further because we want to be digitally literate and do more monitoring and reporting and mentoring of other women and help you scale the program. So we're starting to see really interesting evolutions of where women entrepreneurs are starting to become more and more um, innovative in their own approach, but also starting to think about what they want to see their career uh, as forming as well. Uh, we just got a question from Nandita saying, why do you think women are central to energy access solution in India? So uh, Nanta, uh, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you're just joining us, but we spent most of our session today uh, talking about the real life experiences that these women have been facing. So uh, the main simple answer to you is that the energy, without having energy access, the burden of the uh, lack of reliable electricity has directly faced women. Um, Sunita and Mina have given us countless examples of what they deal with when they don't have access to clean energy solutions or electricity in their villages. And they talk about, they talk about a lot of that um, darkness, they talk about the lack of control, they talk about the fear of their children not being able to study. Given that central uh, experience is very much driven by women, you know, what Sunita and Mina were explaining was that we understand it in a very different way and therefore we also have a desire or a passion to deal with it or address a solution in that way. And that's kind of how we've been uh, picturing the same thing uh, with that understanding. Sunita, you have to tell me a little bit about this. You have come here when you came here with us, so you have to tell me one more time about this photo. You have to tell me that you have to get more than you have to get more than you. एक तो प्रेंटे मार्केट से जुड़ने के बाद में जो सोलर का पता चला भाई ये सोलर कितनी कामयाब चीज है तो हमारे जो ऑफिस है चेतना महिला मन से उसमें एक लाइट की कमी थी तो हमने पांच सात स्टाफ के जो बीस बीस पच्चीस पच्चीस हजार रुपए देते हैं वो फ्री बैठे रहते थे तो उनको भाई बैठे बैठे लाइट तो आती नहीं थी तो बैठे रहते बिगड़ कंप्यूटर बिगड़ तो आजकल कुछ भी नहीं होता तो हमने एक लाख बीस हजार का प्रिंटे मार्केट के ये प्रिंटे मार्केट से सीख कर कुछ सीखा भाई हाँ सोलर का इतना बड़ा वाह है तो प्लेट लगवाई एक लाख बीस हजार की तो प्रिंटे मार्केट बड़े बड़े लोग से आप बहुत बड़े बड़े लोग से मिले हो तो उसमें है ना प्रिंटे मार्केट के द्वारा ही आपसे दो साल पहले छह महीने दो साल तो मेरे को जुड़े हुए 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 हैं और छह महीने बाद में मैंने इतना बड़ा मौका पाया जो सीएम से मिली है तो क्या बात करी आपने उनसे सीएम से सीएम ने पूछा कि आप ये गांव बेचते हो उनके हाँ गांव बेचते हैं अच्छा तो कितनी बिक जाती है मैं खुद बिक जाती है जो जरूरत है तेज लोग लेके जाते हैं कुछ होते हैं उनके हाँ कुछ होते हैं अच्छी चलती है मजबूत है पढ़ने से भी टूटती नहीं है और पानी में पटक दे तो पानी नहीं बढ़ता है सब तरह की मजबूती है मतलब रक्षक है रक्षक लाइट सो जस्ट टू क्विकली ट्रांसलेट जस्ट टू क्विकली ट्रांसलेट व्हाट सीता इज सेइंग इज दैट शी आल्सो वी जस्ट वांटेड टू काइंड ऑफ हैव अ रिफ्लेक्ट अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट व्हाट इज बीन हर एक्सपीरियंस इज बीइंग अ सोलर सेली विद फ्रंटियर मार्केट्स सो शी टॉक्ड अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स व्हिच आई थिंक आर रियली इंपोर्टेंट सो वन शी सेड इज दैट यू नो देयर इज अ वेरी क्लियर लर्निंग दैट यू काइंड ऑफ गेट व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग विद अ सोशल एंटरप्राइज सो शी टॉक्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द लर्निंग्स दैट शी लर्न्ड अबाउट प्रोडक्ट्स इन द वे फ्रंटियर मार्केट्स एज अ अप्रोच एंड इट मेड हर बिकम more innovative in how she operates and works. Um, it's ended again. All right, trial number 10. Uh, we're gonna try to answer the last two questions. So three key challenges. One challenge is definitely on skilling. Uh, you know, the fact is that as uh, we start growing as an organization and we start meeting the demand of a lot of these rural households, the demands are changing as rapidly. So people are moving from lights to wanting TVs, so in order to even skill our sahelis uh, fast enough to respond to the demand is definitely one challenge. I think second is, um, I think Meena, you were telling me that I had to learn mobile, 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 I had to learn m
या पहले बोल रही थी है ना जब जैसे सुनीता करी थी सो वन ऑफ द थिंग्स वी आल्सो नो इज दैट द डिजिटल लिटरेसी डिवाइड इज अ मैसिव वन यू नो एज मच वी आर सीइंग इंडिया काइंड ऑफ इवॉल्व इन द स्पेस आवर वुमेन आर स्टिल नॉट स्किल्ड फास्ट इनफ एंड दे डोंट हैव एक्सेस टू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई थिंक दैट्स डेफिनेटली अनदर मेजर चैलेंज दैट वी आर लुकिंग टू टैकल एंड हर्डल एंड आई थिंक द लास्ट वन ऑफ कोर्स इज अब पहले मुझे बोले थे कि है ना गांव वालों के पास है ना आप वो वो चीजें आपसे लेना चाहते हैं लेकिन उनके पास हाथ में पैसे नहीं होते तो किश के लिए वो वो मांगते रहते कि ना किश में दे दो किश में दे दो ताकि ना उनके पास लोन लोन मिल जाए एज द डिमांड्स आर इंक्रीजिंग फॉर दीस दीस वुमेन अ लॉट ऑफ दीस एंटरप्रेन्योर्स बट आल्सो अ लॉट ऑफ द हाउस होल्ड्स दैट आर सर्विंग द अप्लायंस कॉस्ट विल ऑब्वियसली गो अप एंड सो वी डू नीड टू कम अप विद मोर इनोवेटिव फाइनेंसिंग सॉल्यूशंस दैट विल बी एबल टू हेल्प अस काइंड ऑफ मैच द अफोर्डेबिलिटी against the aspiration and the need of the clean energy solution and then of course equip our city with the right tools to make that happen um so uh the, the final question is kind of linked to the last piece uh the question was about how do we get our women from becoming distributors to entrepreneurs you know it is these three key challenges if we're able to really work on digitization access to financial inclusion and also focus on skilling um there will be an evolution that we see of these women and so larger markets absolutely been working a lot in fact we've been working quite extensively with different kinds of donors as well as dfis as well as banks and trying to really build out a different way of looking at credit worthiness and opportunities to uh, some of the bankers and the these out there to recognize that she really knows what she's doing she's really good at her business she understands her customers she gets access to finance at the right will only help her then exponentially think more like a manager and become more of an, a business owner which we're not being able to do quite well in the energy access space because the requirements for financing versus what these women are able to show is a difference and i think that you know linking all of that to the digital technical platform is the key but someone needs to help us invest and then skilling our women to be ready for that digital financial platform that allows them to succeed in a different way So I think the opportunities are massive. I think we've all learned today despite the multiple disconnects uh we've learned that there is truly an impact uh to women uh when they connect with clean energy solutions. Uh frontier markets have seen that at scale. I think our women are really great examples of that. But ultimately the point is that for this next level, we do need to look at an innovative way of partnerships and opportunities to allow that to happen. but um you know join the ride in gender energy access um and see that we can not only invest in women's lives more effectively we can also exponentially impact the lives of others when it comes to the clean energy crisis so thank you everyone for tuning in again major apologies for all the glitches and disconnects really do appreciate the questions um you can always follow us on facebook uh on our frontier markets website uh our twitter is frontier markets mkds um and of course you know me and jeta uh so reach out to me if i'm able to answer any further questions for you but i do look forward to meeting everyone at the sun club forum we will be there hopefully hosting some more of these kind of events um and looking forward to staying in touch thanks to say bye yeah thanks ladies okay all right bye and we go